Hello everyone, my name is Poofy and welcome back to Welcome to Elk. There's this person standing in front of our house. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see another video. Hey Frick. Lad mig fortælle dig, hvordan uh, George han døde. George han var... Uh, han døde af has op i nogle uh, skove på nogle bjergesider. Um, på at forsørge hans uh, kone og hans datter. Og så en dag, så havde uh, politiet spottet ham på en helikopteroverflyvning. Og han blev uh, stillet for en dommer og dømt til flere år i fængsel. Og mens han var i fængsel, der gjorde han nogle tjenester for nogle... Uh, og en motorcykelbande for at få beskyttelse inde i fængslet, mens han var der. Men øh, en dag kom, hvor han blev fri, og han tog hjem til hans kone og datter, og levede en, øh, en stille, lidt færdig tilværelse øh, med dem. I noget tid efter, han var blevet løsladt. Øh, men så en dag, der kunne naboerne høre, at der var motorcykelstøj på de små veje, igennem skoven op ad bjergsiderne. Og motorcykelstøjen, den stoppede inde ved Georges hus. Og der havde motorcykelbanden gået ind i huset og taget George og hans kone og hans datter ud på gårdspladsen. De var bundet til nogle pæle, der stod ved deres veranda. Og uden videre taget en shotgun op til hovedet af George og skudt hovedet af ham. Og så var de kørt igen. Imens så hang Georges krop livløs fra hans pæle mens at moren og datteren stod bundet, øh, efterladt på korspladsen. Jeg mødte øh, enken og datteren øh, på en bar en sen aftentime, hvor øh, datteren, der nu var en voksen kvinde, øh, var med ude hendes mor i byen. Og, øh, og sidst fik jeg taget mig mod til at, for at spørge dem, om den historie, jeg havde hørt, den var, var sand. Og moren hun genfortalte øh, historien, Nogenlunde, som jeg havde hørt den. Og da hun var færdig, så sad datteren og, og skirrede lidt tomt ud i luften foran sig. efter hun sagde, at The day daddy die, I never forget. Well, um, that, that's, a, that's a start. That's a way. I'm speechless. That's a way to start this video. Oh, holy Christ, that actually happened. He's gone. And he knew about George and Beth. Nope. I'm not dealing with any more weird stuff today. I'm heading home. You are already in front of your home. I'm just going to surrender to sleep. Yeah, that was pretty... Oof. I hope my dreams are less weird than today was. I hope so too. But I don't think so. Why is Anas out on the boat alone? Anas! Hi, Frick. Bye, Frick. What? Where are you going? I'm going to find my parents. But can't I come too? Sorry, Frick. Not this time. I'm gonna go looking in the next afterlife. And you're not ready to leave this one yet. But... No. Oh. Come on, Honors, don't leave. Don't worry, Frick. We'll meet again, I promise. Just think of all the new stories we'll have to talk about. You're scaring me, Honors. Please don't go. Goodbye, Frick. No, Honors, come back. Honors? Come back. <laughs> It's weird. Act four. Come back. No. It's okay. It was just a dream. At least I think it was just a dream. I don't know. Do we get another bottle? I think we do. Maybe I'll just go check in on us, just in case. We don't get a new bottle. We might have all the bottles that are in the game already. I truly do not know. I do know that everything is still not falling 
together. Snake. Oh, Snake. I need your help. Uh, actually, I was just on my way. Thank you, Freak. You're the best. I'm in a real state. Um, I'm guessing Bobby isn't back yet. Oh, Freak. My heart can take hearing her name. It's the worst. Please, I need you to read this. Let my writing say what my lips can't. I was kind of in a hurry. Read it. Please. Um. Sure, Sue, I can give it a quick read. This obituary is to say goodbye to our beautiful lost Bobby. Because if it's written on paper, it's gonna mean it's important. Bobby was the sexy woman who served us beer. But she was also the ray of rare sun on this pissing rock sitting in the cold sea. We'll miss her and we'll be lost without her. Goodbye, sweet mistress of the frothy beer soaked night. Wait, what? Sue, this is an obituary. You can't be serious. Is Bobby... Is she really gone? What other answer is there? How could she possibly be away for her Sue, from her Sue for so long? Wait. So you don't actually know? We're having drinks at her... We're having drinks for her now at the Hermit. It's what she would have wanted. I need to drink for my darling Bobby. Oh well, I guess that sounds nice. You'll come join us, right, Frick? You're like family now. <sighs> yes, of course, Sue. I'm right behind you. Thank you. I need as many shoulders to cry on as I can get. Let's get going. The first drink's on me. Well, if everyone is at the Hermit, Anna's is probably too. I am going to check out on his cave thing. Because I'm not sure if he is in the Hermit. Just a quick check on. Oh, what is this? Oh, I guess this means Honors isn't in. Okay, so let's check the Hermit then. Man, I really wish I could get some answers on what the hell actually is going on. Because I sure as hell don't know what actually is going on. Things are weird. I tell you, life ain't easy for a girl named Sue. Uh, we're all here. Hi there, Frick. Figured you'd wind up here eventually. Hey, everyone. Uh, have any of you seen Honest? Not yet, but it won't take him long to join the circus. What is all this? Bobby? She's not actually dead, right? Ha! No more than you or me are. Might come as a shock, but this isn't the first time we've been through this. Sue, she loves her melodrama. I don't get it. So Bobby is coming back, right? Oh, sure, she just visits her aunt every spring. Her aunt lives on a neighboring island, just a bit of a bugger to get to. Wait, so this is a fake funeral? Hey, a party's still a party, right? Mom, can I have some more cake? Ha, ah, sure thing, sweetie. I guess there isn't anything to worry about. Except there's no sign of honor shit. Yeah, let's talk to you guys then. So you went behind my back and did it? I don't wish to speak too loudly of it. But yes, the deed is done. It's quite exhilarating, if I'm honest. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I'm just a nominated figurehead, you know. I can't protect us from the likes of him. The worst is, he knows it. You know we can't keep quiet anymore. We'll get a load of you. Would have helped if you'd grown a conscience earlier, don't you think? I ain't calling myself a boy scout. Well, I thought it was brave of you, young Vic Victor, to stand with us against your brother. Ha! Well, aren't you just two peas in a pot? But what exactly am I supposed to do? You're a sheriff, ain't you? So do that. That's so. Maybe I should start by locking your ass up? You and me both? No, you ain't gonna do that. <clears throat> Sorry, 
really sorry to interrupt, but have any of you seen Anders? Frank, you really do have the most impeccable timing. It's nice to see you. But alas, no, I haven't seen our joyous friend today. Yeah, I haven't seen Ghost Boy either. Yeah, what they said. Should we be worried? No, no, I'm sure everything's fine. If you do see him, could you let me know, though? Of course, you can count on me. Thanks so much. So weird. Hey, if either of you three seen others? I'm grieving here, freak. I can't deal with the shackles of other people's problems. I don't even know what day it is. It's Tuesday. It was rhetorical, Martin. All I know is, any day without Bobby is a wasted one. But that's all I've got to look forward to now. Uh, sorry, Sue. Sorry, Frick, I haven't seen Anna's today. Been busy baking for the party today. Party? It's a funeral, Martin. Right. Sorry. Yeah, I mean for the funeral. I don't care what this is. Me and this baby just want more of that delicious cake. It's true. The cake is delicious. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, but let me know if you see Anna's. Will do, Frank. Hey, everyone. Everyone. Thank you all for gathering here today. Look, we all know life can feel like wearing shoes made of shit. So thick that even a good beer can't wash him. But Bobby, she could make you feel like you weren't wearing shoes at all. She had the biggest heart and a smile that could break any tin can. There's nothing she wouldn't do for anyone. I loved her. And she loved me. And now? Damn it, I just miss her. To my darling Bobby. Well, well, if isn't another sad-ass party. What? Did another one of you fucks bite the bullet? Heh. <laughs> oh, Leroy. Looks like they ain't too happy to see you. Get out. I beg your fucking pardon. What did you just say to me? I said, get out. We're saying goodbye to the fucking love of my life. And you were sure were not invited. So, get the hell out. First of all, I want to go and take a look at the painting. I'm not ready for this. That idiot is going to get us all killed. Fuck. Damn it, Leroy. Oh my. Woohoo! This should be fun to watch. This could turn ugly. We should do something. No. What's gonna happen to Sue, Mom? I'm scared. The bastard. Alright. Sue? I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. But are you? Are you telling me what to do? Sue, just come back over here. Yeah, come on, Sue. It's okay. I think I've just about had it. Has everyone lost their shitting minds? Who do y'all think you are? Get the hell out. Hmm. It's funny. Ha 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 ha. Oh my. But lady, I gotta tell you. You are really dead. Freeze! Put your hands up. What is this? Hands now. You what? Final warning. Fuck. I don't believe this. One of you shits talked. You're a hard man to find, Leroy Brown. But we've been patient. Very patient. Sorry, folks. No need to be alarmed. We're from the mainland police force. We'll take it from here. Where's Officer Olsen? Um, I'm here, ma'am. Nice work on the tip-off. Wait, what? I mean, you're welcome. We've been after this asshole for quite some time. So you really did us a favor. Come on, let's get him out of here. The boat's waiting. Wait. Okay, let's move it. Victor, do something. 
It's done, Leroy. What? Why, you? You ungrateful son of a bitch. I said move. I'll kill all of you. You hear me? Keep up the good work, Officer Olsen. Good day to the rest of you. Well, that was unexpected. Get the hell out of here, Ren. Yeah, well then, I guess I'll be on my way. Sure, the bastard ruined my speech. What? What just happened? Well, as you can hear from my fellow officers, I think you'll find it. I just saved today. The hell you did, Clara. <clears throat> but it mentioned me specifically. It's only because we used your name when we made the call. You what? That's fraud. You realize how much trouble I could have been in? Look, we weren't going to come all this way unless it sounded credible. It was better than it came from you. Should have, It should have come from you a long time ago. Easy for you to say. What are you all bickering for? The crusty evil bastard is finally gone. So who cares who did what? Jeez, it was me who had to will you all into it in the first place. I got this baby coming, so it's time for everyone to grow up. Ain't no in hell I'm letting trash like that be around. So we should celebrate? But we were already celebrating for Bobby. Someone say my name? What is going on here? Sue, are you throwing me a funeral again? Hein, we talked about this. Bobby? Oh my god, Bobby. I miss you so much. Ah, uh, hon, I missed you too. So much drama. It's good to see Bobby back. But wait. Where's Anders? Yeah, where is Anders? I have a sinking feeling. Gotta find Anders. We will find Anders. 